And this shit real, man. You know, hey, Night Dark Armor, man. It's a two story Cody Williams, man. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, we be turning this into a film, man. But you know what I'm saying? Um, I've been bullshitting on giving y'all some stories out of this book because I feel like, man, I give y'all so many good stories that you should pay for the ones in here. You know what I'm talking about? And plus, man, it helps me get a little bit back from what I've been through and shit set up, scammed, defrauded by the system and, you know, jaded women. So this book really give you a lot of information if you a black man, a little bit of education, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of action and stuff, man. You know, this is a harrowing tale <laughs> about... Man, you know, you know, the background got sack in it, you know, got the, got me on there, you know what I'm saying? Looking like a gladiator, which I am, you know what I'm saying? You know, I go from an innocent man to a, a monster. So let them tell it. But you feel me? Yeah, man, you know, a nigga basically go to jail. And that's my point, bruh. I was never no criminal, nigga. When I went to jail, you niggas was, you, you sent me to jail, you feel me, for... Defending myself, basically, a nigga attacked me. You feel me? Nigga had threatened me. Nigga had did hella shit to me, and I defended myself, man. This nigga turn around and say I broke his jaw and fucked him up. You feel me? And I go to prison. You know what I'm saying? And they try to convict me, and this is a mutual combat where I won. So the game out here is funny. You gotta watch out. This nigga's a gang banger, snitch to the police. The whole shit troublemaker out here still is loser, loser lifestyle. You know I have responsibilities. And basically what happened in this book, man, you know, my baby mama dragged me down over my child. I didn't even know what was happening until it was happening. And once it's all spiraling downhill and, you know, these ignorant mind motherfuckers is trying to attack you, you got to defend yourself. See what I'm saying? I end up in prison with a bunch of these bum ass, loser ass, weird ass niggas, you feel me? And I ain't feeling them. So I get to commence and they kicking their ass and shit too because it was a scientific experiment to me because I was like, these niggas built their whole mentality and shit off being tough and they really soft. Most of these street niggas have never taken any formal fighting training, you have ever been in any real combat. So, I mean, <laughs> you dealing with a bunch of motherfuckers that's just hurt inside, you know, but really soft. So when I go in that motherfucker, I ain't feeling these niggas are what they are. So, you know what I'm saying? Really, what it seemed like, oh, man, this nigga's a boss. Really, you niggas was just punks, man. You niggas was just, I hated being around criminals and stuff. So don't ever get me mixed up with that, you know, criminal circle with breaking the law and all that old type of shit. I broke a nigga jaw and ended up in there, nigga, and it's in the book. You feel me? Walter Washington, you know what I'm saying? Nigga wanted these problems. Niggas wanted, nigga, I don't know what he was going to do. He's going to try to kill me or what? Nigga, I put him, put him, put his lights out. You know what I'm saying? And make sure the nigga couldn't get up. You know what I'm saying? And this nigga turns around, takes the L after thinking he can bully and fuck with me to go on to the motherfucking DA every time he could. Oh, this nigga did this and he did that and try to put a nigga in. So I'm telling you niggas, man, get out the streets, bruh. You feel me? This shit ain't worth it. These street niggas is fake as fuck, nigga. These niggas is full of drama, full of talking. Full of causing trouble behind hood rat holes like Justine Slaughter, you know what I'm saying? Starlet Washington. You know, these hoes get to travel everywhere and go everywhere and fuck with a bunch of niggas crossing these niggas and continuing acting like they innocent, but really, like, nobody in the neighborhood or nobody in the culture ever be like, man, it be behind a bitch all the time and some bullshit. And these bitches act like they innocent because these niggas want to fuck them and shit. You see what I'm saying? Let's keep it real, man. This world was built by men. You know what I'm saying? You know, and they was building it for the love of an honest, decent woman. You know what I'm saying? So now you get these hoes in the situation, and these hood rats, these bitches that street, these bitches that think they can think like men and maneuver and use the system, and they make it bad for everybody, period, point blank. You know, just like Justine Slaughter, man. You know, at the end of the day, listen, they might have took 15000 out of my account saying I owe child support in a stock account. Listen, you... You take a fish from a man that just bought it from Walmart, he going to be mad like, eh, eh, I can't eat now. Man, listen, you take a fish from a man that know how to fish, and all I'm going to do is go, boop, put my pole back in the water. Man, shout out to child support, man. Shout out to all that hating nigga, because I wouldn't be who I am. You feel me? 
You know what I'm saying? When you running around and you gotta, you can't get a job because child support gonna take their issue and this bitch trying to take money. But really, technically, it's a scam because if you trying to stay away from the baby dad, intentionally hide from the baby dad, and then turn the child against the baby dad to where y'all don't fuck with the baby dad, admittingly, he don't owe you no fucking money then. It's a scam. Listen, when I come for the motherfucking, with the maternity papers and shit, playing bitch shit, come back out of Atlanta, come back and try to hit me for some child support, I don't owe. I tried to take care of my son so much, I ended up in jail behind it. This bitch is funking. It's in the book. This bitch funking with, a, with her with, with her so-called friend over another man that they both trying to fuck on and fuck on. And the bitch kidnapped my son. And to get her my son back, she called me out of bed with my motherfucking family. Nigga, I don't know what's going on. Next thing you know, I'm fighting with these motherfucking heathens thinking that a nigga ain't a fire-breathing dragon. See what I'm saying? Niggas in the hood is stupid. That's the problem. They under, underestimate the average human. Most niggas in the hood gonna look you up and down and say, hmm. hmm. <laughs> he he ain't been through the bullshit and all the all the stress and drama and dope fiend mamas that we have, nigga. We better than them. But the damn shame is you're the one at the bottom with nothing. Causing all this fucking ruckus. And you on government aid. Yeah, this nigga, Walter Washington, was a super crip, gang banger, all that shit. Man, listen. That nigga tried to put his hands on me and I knocked him out. That nigga got up and told the police, man, get the book, man. Night dark armor, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's the only way I'm going to get some, it's some money back from all the shit I've been through, man. That bitch sent me to prison and the whole shit. These motherfuckers turned around and told the bitch ran and joined the military so she didn't have to come testify. Man, come tell the truth about what happened and quit trying to make the good guy look like the bad guy. That's why I keep telling y'all, ain't no good guys get left, nigga. <laughs> Save your motherfucking self. Look how un- Man, and the worst thing about it is, is with me and my baby mama, bitch, I came to your rescue, bitch. <laughs> you feel me? And you telling your, my son bad shit about me, turn, bitch, I came to your rescue, bitch. If nothing else, bitch, you owe me a relationship with my son. I didn't do it for you, hoe. I did it for him. You was a hoe. Bitch, you was calling me. I was used to this bitch calling me at, at, at 2, 3 at night, nigga. You feel me? Saying, do you want to see your son? It's in the book. And she wants some dick. And then I get to see my son. That's what type of bitch this was. This bitch got four, five kids by three, four bit different baby daddies, ladies and gentlemen. And it's the bitch that get to try to tell me, I, nigga, <laughs> this home wrecking bitch ain't never owned a home. You feel me? Getting money from the state gonna try to tell me a motherfucker who, bitch, you only fucked with me because I owned homes, bitch, because I was wealthy, bitch. You see what I'm saying? Like, they don't tell you that part. They don't, the mama don't never tell the kids she the side bitch. <laughs> In the first place, she got to make a little, I ain't ruined my life. No, bitch, you was running out here doing what the fuck you wanted to do with everybody not being held accountable. Nigga, when it was time to be held accountable, you ran, bitch. You see what I'm saying? And worst case scenario, go, bitch, but don't come back trying to go with my account and then turn around and laugh about it. You see what I'm saying? Nah, man, this is why motherfuckers ain't really... The, listen, come to find out, most deadbeats <laughs> is really somebody's great family man and father. They just wasn't fucking with that bitch. We got to stop letting these bitches narrate the story, man, and tell these fake ass lies, man, because that's their manipulation. You see what I'm saying? A real bitch going to get out the way and not. Why are you in so many problems and situations and incidents? Why you, you know, you know what I'm saying? Sit your ass down somewhere, nigga. These problems wouldn't even occur in the first place. But yeah, man, I ain't tripping. I'm going to end up getting everything back. So every time they support the book, man, hey, you, you get to read a story that's amazing. You know what I'm saying? And give back, man, to a situation that never should have happened, man. And the system so fucked up, they fell in line with it. They, you got the gov, you got the motherfucking district attorney trying to convict me, give me thirty years for mutual combat with a motherfucker who was trying to run me down over my kidnapped child that I took back. This shit crazy, ain't it? See what I'm saying? 
And these niggas claim they street out here, man. And then you go in jail with a bunch of street niggas and beat all they asses like y'all whack. And now they mad about it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Mad about what, nigga? Period, point blank, man. Hey, man, you know, Ninth Dark Armor, man. Scammy Tammy dropping next month, man. Make sure you get a copy of that. These are true, real-life stories, man. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to get your story told, man, get your story, you know what I'm saying, in a Hollywood film, man, tap in, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we got to stop. As black people being scared to tell our story, that's how these shit recycle again. We still be in slavery if Frederick Douglass didn't fuck that white woman and, and learn how to read and write out the bitch. You see what I'm saying? And get some motherfucking literature that went through the world that explained the experience of slavery. They gonna speak for you and say, oh, nigga, these niggas is dead, bitch. These niggas, is, bitch, you put all that burden on my back. I did everything. Nah, nigga, I've been an honest, productive member of society and these bitches turn around and get mad at you because you didn't want to fuck with them it didn't go right man listen cut it out and then the system like just just, just help us get him in prison and take his life away for nothing and a motherfucker just want to be out here and be normal and be regular and shit you see this is the reason why a lot of black men can't get jobs you feel me this is the reason why i tell my story out loud you feel me because i'm really successful off of really just being going against a lot of adversity. You feel me? It's been an uphill battle. You don't have to figure things out. And like I said, man, I appreciate that they tried to come after me that way because I couldn't be a slave. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't get a job. You got a bitch like Justine calling my jobs, telling them to fire me and shit. This is what type of shit the bitch did. Then you got to try to got child support where she garnishing my, garnishing my wages, but keeping my son away from me intentionally. That's, this shit just didn't make sense. So I learned how to be independent. I learned how to make money. I learned how to share with people. I learned how to do big business to where, oh, you come after me, but you can't come after my own business entity. You dumb bitch. You just made me smarter and shit. You just made me work with people and be friends and create business relationships. I appreciate this shit because now it makes me more honest than honest because motherfuckers know I pay my dues, man. And motherfucker, you ain't never heard nobody bad talk me or say I done did them across them in any type of business, man. I'm a giver, you know what I'm saying? Because I got to share with the world in order to get anything. And people like these hood rat, fake ass, evil minded. And it's not even on a personal level. This shit fuck up the culture. You see what I'm saying? You take a kid away from his son and from his dad, man, he don't know his history. He don't know his medical situation. He don't he don't know he don't have an identity. You see what I'm saying? You didn't just take him away from me. You took him away from my whole wealthy side of my family with a rich history. It makes no sense to do this intentionally. Because you an ignorant ass, negative, mad bitch. You see what I'm saying? At one point, all these ignorant, bitter, negative ass bitches you chose out of everybody we was at who was in line. Who the fuck? So this is your motherfucking mistake, bitch. All you bitches got history of bad mistakes. Man, and niggas like me, man, we got careers and selling and buying houses and investing in the stock market, tripling and doubling our value. So our word is going to be a lot more than what y'all just trying to say while y'all sitting getting asking for handouts, whether it's child support, government aid, vouchers, Section 8. You see what I'm saying? It makes no sense out here, man. And you got to watch these black women in our culture making everybody be vultures now because nobody is, nobody is, no men are left in the house to teach and hand down real skills. Hey, man, I'm out.